Hello everyone, so as you can tell I'm in a new background which means I have moved recently and I wanted to share my tips on a long distance move or just any move in general if you're moving in the next couple months or next year, you know, whatever. So, tip number one is do your research. When I first started looking for moving companies, I typed in, you know, moving company estimator or an estimate of moving, you know. Some websites that came up were like, you know, put in your square footage of your home, what state you're moving out of, and then your phone number and email. Those websites do not put your phone number in and do not put your email address in because they will just keep calling you and emailing you forever and ever and it's really annoying because they're usually brokers who are working to find you a moving company which then the prices are going to be a little bit higher because they have to get paid as long as the moving company. So try to avoid those websites because they will keep calling you and calling you and emailing you and it's really really annoying so do not sign up for one of those websites. Instead look up maybe a list of moving companies or look up their websites and then kind of go from there. Tip number two is to avoid scams. If the price seems too good to be true, it probably is. There's a couple websites out there to help you avoid fraud and getting your stuff stolen and your stuff damaged and you know, all that stuff. So one of the websites is protectyourmove.gov and that website is a website where people report fraud or you know if the moving company is not what they said they were, then they'll put that in there too. And then another website is the BBB, or the Better Business Bureau, and if the company you're looking at is accredited by them, then you know that they're a good, reliable company to work with. So, another thing is make sure that that company is insured, because you are paying for the driver, the use of the truck, and the gas, and then insurance usually is provided from them. So just make sure that they are insured in some form. Tip number three is do not buy boxes. Go to your local department store, grocery store, or even a furniture store, and if they let you take some boxes, you know, take that because that's free, that's less cost on you because moving is really expensive, so every penny that you can save really helps out. Um, but I worked part-time at Pier 1, and obviously that's a furniture and home decor store, so they had tons of boxes that I just took, and they also had bubble wrap and plate dividers and um, furniture protectors like all that stuff so I took as much as I could and you know, take more than what you think you're going to use because you can always just recycle it if you don't end up using it because it's just cardboard so but do not buy that from a moving company because it probably is pretty expensive but like I said just go to your local stores and see if any of them will give you free boxes tip number four is to protect your stuff as much as you can like I had a tall dresser and if there's something around it, we just put blankets in to kind of protect it from sliding around into each other. But I did end up getting a scratch on the bottom of it, and I don't know how or from what. But wrap up as much as the things that you can. Like even dressers, get a mattress cover and a box spring cover if you have one. We did not have that, but we put it down on blankets and somehow they still got dirty. My mattress still got dirty on the sides. So, you know, make sure you get all that kind of stuff and protect all your furniture. Some of our stuff did get broken during the move and some of it got wet and I don't know if there was just a leak in the truck or what happened there but some of our furniture did get ruined in that sense so just make sure you wrap it up really well. Get um, bubble wrap from like Home Depot, that's what we use for a washer and dryer. We just wrapped it up really really well just to make sure nothing would scratch those up. But for bigger furniture you know just make sure you have extra blankets and stuff like that. And tip number five is to plan ahead and allow yourself as much time to pack up all your stuff. I thought I had enough time and I came to realize that we were still packing the day the truck came. So you know just allow yourself extra time to pack up everything. And that's also a good time to go through your stuff. Like I found a lot of clothes that I didn't really wear anymore so I donated those. And I also found a lot of extra like plates and cups and stuff we didn't use really so I donated all that kind of stuff. So it's really a good time to sort through your stuff. You can have like a sale or you can donate it like we did. So the company that I went with was called UPAC, and they're not sponsoring this video. I wish they were, but I had to pay for everything, so. But the company we picked was UPAC, and they were BBB accredited. I think they had a A-plus rating, which is good. Um, and they were actually one of the cheapest ones that I found for a long distance move, so that was a plus, too. So what UPAC does is you call them up and tell them the square footage of your apartment or house or condo, whatever you might have. And then based off of that, they will send you a trailer. Um, in my case, they sent us a 20-foot. In my case, they sent us a 28-foot trailer, 
and what they did was they dropped it off. Um, the guy helped me get the ramp out of the truck and everything, so, so they were really friendly and very accommodating. And once those three days are over, once you're done packing, you call them up and they'll come pick up the trailer and they'll take it to their local terminal in that state. And then they'll drive it out. It takes about three to five business days for them to take it to the next state you're moving to or across your state or whatever the case may be. But they will drive it for you. Like, but you pay for the track, the driver, and the gas. And then they'll usually insure your stuff for the move. Um, and then once it gets to that next terminal, then you will call them to set up the time for them to come drop it off at your new place. And of that, you can have either one or two to three days to unload your stuff, and then they'll come back and pick it up and take it away. So, um, and they also work with a sister company. If, if you need help with like extra movers, you can hire some people, which we did once we got down to our new state, and it was just good for extra help and extra hands. So, but those are just my tips for moving and my experience. Um, if you guys have any tips, please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. I'm sure everyone else would love to know your experience as well. If you like these kind of videos, give me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. I'll put out videos every so often as much as I can. I am in graduate school now, so timing might be a little bit hard at times to get up a video, but bear with me and I'll figure out all the kinks. So. But thank you guys for watching and make sure to subscribe and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!